So you want to make your truck faster, really struggling, trying to get up hills, struggling to get to 100 miles an hour. You want to get it over 120. Well, I'm going to show you how. So that's a video I did there. So let's just get out of that. Okay, so you downloaded your mod, right? You got your mod installed, know how to install your mods. You go to your documents, American Truck Simulator, go to mods. And here I have the two truck engines. I was testing both of them, which they're about the same. This one's a 1500 horsepower. This one's the Ultra Power 1250, the last one that I tested in my last video. So I modded this one. I changed the settings in it. And if you're on Windows, you can use the 7 zip here. So let's just open the archive. Uh, if you're on Linux, I'm sure you can use some other text editor. Go to this folder right here, DEF, Vehicle, Truck, Kenworth, Engine. Then click on this, right click on it, and then go to View. So there's the settings right here. And what I did on this one, I was just testing, going through all the, uh, just, you know, changing things. So let me show you what I changed. This was at... 1500 I just doubled everything and this right here I don't know if you have to change but I just doubled it whatever the number was I doubled it so this was 1500 I put it at 3000 this was eight no what was it one one uh eight point five or something so it doubled it to that and then this one right here I think this is just the info that shows in the game itself and so this one I doubled it and it came to 7,376. And let's see, this one I didn't change. Torque, I was just testing. First I put it at 10,000. Didn't feel like enough for me, so I put it at 15,000. This one on this mod here, on the uh, 1500 horsepower mod, it was at 2200 RPM. So I changed it to 25 to give me some extra RPM. And the engine, uh, they had it on... Uh, 2.0 I don't know why on the other mod it's at 4 so I'll put this one on 4.2 so there is all the settings that I changed I put the engine brake on 4.0 this on 25 this on 15,000 and let's see changed this to 7 three seven six and I think this is just the info that shows in the game I don't think this is necessary because when I changed this to three thousand it gave it three thousand horsepower but just uh, this is just the game information well, I'm gonna show you where where it says that so then you close that it's gonna ask you to save it and then it's gonna say update to this file right here then click yes then once you get out of that, so let's see what it does. Uh, go to your game. I'm going to start it up here real quick. So I'm already uh, in a game, and so you know how to put your mod. You go to the, uh, the little window that was there, so there, you add the mod, or you can come up here to profiles, and click on mod manager here. Of course, add your mod, click it over here, update it and all that. You click confirm changes after you put it in that folder. So now we're gonna start the game, and I'm gonna show you where those uh, info says when you go to the truck here, see where it says, see when I changed this one to 3000, it said 3000, but it was still saying 18 or 118.5 right here, the kilowatt, I think that is. And this one, the torque, it was still saying uh, 5,000 and uh, 4,000 foot pounds of torque or something. So I just changed those just to see if it made any difference, but I don't think you have to change those. I think it's just for, uh, this game information right here as long as you change that one where it says torque to 15,000 or 10,000 that's what it's giving you torque and the one that says horsepower 3,000 gives you horsepower so let's see what it does I'm already uh, doing a job that I haven't finished 
so let's see how this thing drives and I'm gonna show you that the RPM oh, of course it had to be raining you know I'm gonna show you the watch the RPM because on this um, and it's got some pull now now you see I'm carrying a big trailer I've got a big tank on the back of this thing and my RPM you see it will go to 25 and I had to go and switch my trans because the other trans just couldn't handle it. I went ahead and went back with the 7 speed. And one thing you got to notice uh, or be careful with <laughs> that once you get a certain speed, you will be running this thing off into guardrails because it does get going. See, I'm already doing 117 and I'm barely pushed it yet. 119 and I picked the wrong road for this because I've already ran this thing off roads and I don't know if you can hear the engine but it's really sound like a rod knocking and it's really hard to drive because it's really getting to a speed where you can't control it and if I could just find me a good straightaway But I can show you, listen to the engine. This one's better to hear the engine. And another thing you might want to do is get the no damage mod because you are going to be running into some stuff, that's for sure. Well, let's just pull out of here. And watch that pickup go. And hopefully, another one's coming. And you've got to really watch your corners. You will run this thing off of it. It is fast. tires will still wear out. I noticed that. Uh, well, let's just see if we can you know, watch the gauges here. And it does have some good pull to it. I'll tell you that. And it makes the game so much more fun to play because of that. The game just got so much more fun Where's my turn? I gotta turn up here. Looks like my tires are just totally worn out or something. I get a straightaway, I can show you what this thing will do. easily cruise at a hundred all day long. You really got to give it up on those edges because it will run right off of that. Okay, this is what we can get. 125, 126, 127. 28 so it'll be 130 downhill oh I gotta give it up here flip it
get to 130. Go to the other view. Get out of the way. One thirty. One thirty one. Oh, he's gonna get this. Oh, that cop is gonna get smacked. I really like to survive that. And the pickup is just great. Really cool. Happy with 120. Got 127 even better. I think that's fast enough. You don't want to go any more than that. And as far as your fuel mileage, on my fuel mileage is dumping. You see, it, it was at about 38, and now it's at uh, three. So that's uh, another problem you're going to have. And you wear out your tires if you don't have the, uh, I mean, the uh, no damage ain't going to matter because your tires are still going to wear out. It doesn't just seem to affect the tires. And you want to get the best tranny you can. And it really makes it <laughs> hard to control. This be oh no, almost hit that card rail. So there you go. That's how to uh, change the speed and the RPM. You want to you want to at least get the RPM up to the 25 range because I noticed that one mod was at 22 and I wasn't getting the speed and just putting it at 25 made it so much better. Gave me it gave just putting it to 25 get got it to 120 and then making it more torque makes pick up faster it gets to 100 quicker you can see I'm already at 100 and now I'm at 120 and it really gets uncontrollable God. That's the only thing you're going to be uh, having to deal with. It gets out of control, especially when you're carrying a big old thing on the back. So you're going to need the no damage. I can control it better in this uh, view. So let's see what we can get it to. really made the game so much funner. And you want to adjust your gravity for the, the tipping of the trailer all the way to stable. That's what I'm talking about. No problem though, we can keep going. We're already at 70. I'm, I might tune it down a little bit just so I can keep it floored and still be at a uh, more controllable speed. Maybe lower the torque a little bit.
120, about 122 is a good speed. Once it starts going over that amount, it really gets crazy. That's the problem you're going to have, and now you're going to have to uh, call someone or uh, get it flipped over. So that's how it works. And see my damage on my tires, and, and for some reason now it's showing damage here, even though I got the damage mod. You see 1% there, 1% on the transmission. So it's still gaining a little bit of damage, but it's not as much. I mean, it would be at 100 and something thousand without the damage mod, and I'd be losing all that money. So there you go. Know, I'm going to wrap this up here. That's how you uh, change the horsepower and the RPM speed on those engine mods. So I guess that's it. All right, you got any questions or anything or any other uh, something, leave in the comment below. All right, I'm out.